What's up guys, it's Liam from TCG Ireland and today I've got a deck profile for you all and it is my True Great Die Kaiser Legion deck uh, I got it there got everything together there at the weekend so I'm just recording it today it is Tuesday t or Wednesday today and uh, yeah so it's probably not everybody's optimal build it doesn't have stride yet because the extra booster for no Dimension Police isn't out and Harmonics Messiah is quite expensive so I can't get him yet um, but yeah uh, our starter is uh, Dimensional Robo Die Magnum you can run Go Yusha it's just he's he's not very good he's, he's it's a heavy neg for something that's really not going to be massively important I mean he, he can come useful sometimes but this guy is just handy he fills the soul it's easy enough to use and then you can give your vanguard plus 4k um, so yeah that's our starter just move that up there our grade threes seeing as we're doing it this way now uh, we run uh, three uh, true true ultimate dimensional robo great die kaiser uh, if you don't know his skill he's legion 22k he's the first legion 22k unit we've got new legions with great deusha and his continued effect is during your turn if this unit is in legion if the number of cards with dimensional robo in your soul is three or more uh, this unit gets a crit so very very easy to get to be honest with with dimensional robo seeing as the, the deck is pretty much completely dimensional robo and then his auto skill is counter blast one this is this is what makes the deck uh, counter blast one when this unit unit's drive check reveals a grade three card um, and your legion mates critical is two or more which is going to happen obviously um, you may pay the cost if you do, which is Counter Blast 1. Uh, you may choose your, one of your opponent's guardians and retire it, and it also kills pop, Pops Perfect Guards. So, then what happens is, he, I then have three of his mate, which is Great Lyusha. Uh He's quite expensive now, but I had three for ages and ages, so I thought I may as you know, um, had him when he was quite cheap. Had the Adam since BT away actually as well. To be fair, um, he, he his skill if you're forced to ride him is limit break four. Uh, during your turn, if the number of um, dimensional robo in your soul is three or more, it gets two kind of crit. Uh, it's a limit break, so lots of people are going to have problems with this being limit breaks. So it's only going to be a late game crit um, with this, but the guard break power pays off quite a lot with it. Um, because you can still you still get his first skill even without the the second skill, but um, I have a card that does help for that. So and he gets he's a cross right gets two k. If there's another uh, if there's Dayush in the soil, which I don't run in this deck, but um, it's not for it's it doesn't affect defense because this is your main grade three on the vanguard circle and. If we're attacking, yes, it would. It would make it would push every, it would push everything to twenty four, and it gets minus two k if there's no uh, dimension place. If you've got a dimension place, non dimension place vanguard or rearguard, so that's that's a little bit of a downside. But I don't run anything different in the deck. It's not extreme format. I then run uh, four super dimensional robo die Kaiser. He's the break ride for this deck. Um, I've said before how break rides don't work, well this one does because you can practically rush yourself to 4 damage and win on that turn provided you are prepared enough and you haven't like spent all your grade 3's so, the, so if you don't know skill he gets when you ride it you counter blast one he gets 10k and a crit your value gets 10k and a crit and it gets the perfect card popping ability that has become that's made this clan quite famous now and he gets 2k when he's boosted he uh, if you break ride and then you legion you waste the three grade threes already but I have this ten grade threes in this deck for a reason so when you break ride um, if you happen to get a grade three 
because his skill is activated, it's an auto, it kills that it kills a guardian. And then if you want to do it, if if he's got more than one guardian, let's say he guard he overguarded by so much, you know, you can you can you basically kill two um, guardians. So let's say perfect guard splice and you check one grade three, one is all you need, you can kill two guardians for a counter blast of two. So it's 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 a pretty brilliant skill. And yeah, uh, I'll be I'll do an update video with this deck whenever we've got um, Cosmic Roar coming out in English because I'll have the limit break enabler. It makes it makes it even better. You can kill people from two when you're sitting at like two damage. So yeah, uh, that's the grade threes. We then have grade twos now, and that's we've got four. Uh, Die Dragon, he's the 12k attacker. Um, obviously, you need him in this deck because uh, he's he, he's 12k attacker for Dimensional Robo Vanguard. And yeah, uh, one of them's double rare because they don't have the rest in double rare, they're trial decks. Then we've got three Kaisard. Um, he gets five when another Dimensional Police rides in this unit. Choose your Vanguard, he gets 5k. It's an ex It was excellent in my previous version of this deck. Um, at the minute, he just sits as making your grade 3 vanguard 16k, which is still quite good because if you think about it, if you don't have something in the rear, an 11k attack isn't, swing, isn't uh, hitting anything because it'll just 10k to pass it, but with the 16 it makes it you know difficult, more difficult to guard. It's just that little bit of pressure mid-game when you've ridden grade 3. Then we have 3 dimensional robo die fighter. Um, the 10k attacker. I was contemplating running Die Barrett. Everybody runs Die Barrett. He's good for what he does, but the only thing is you have to choose something else and himself, and you you net yourself in order to get an effect. That it's like draw a card or something like that. I mean, it's it's not that important, really, and it fills the soul, sure. But if you've got your grade 0, your grade 1, your grade 2, that's 3. Then you get a break ride, that's 4. You know, that's the, you, you know it's, it's really difficult to not get 3 in the soul for Dimensional Robos. Unless they retire the grade 0, you, can, you still have an extra grade 3 to play with. So that's our grade 2s. Then our grade 1s. Uh, which is where it's a little bit more difficult to work with. Those 10 grade 2s, by the way, uh, in order to make space for the grade 3s. We have 4 dimensional robo die shield. Or no, we've got 1 and then four diamond 3 diamond days. Uh, just haven't gotten around to it. He's an expensive card, so I don't have him. Um, does the same job anyway, it's not a big deal. Then I've got 3 die brave. Um, had him running at four, but the ratios are just a little bit problematic in grade ones because they have thirteen grade grade ones instead of fourteen, so it's a little bit off balance and not to to my my liking. But at the same time, good card. It's uh, you put you put this card into your drop zone and choose your dimensional robot gets kind of last one unless you know attack hits. Uh, you can draw a card, so it's it's a it's a good card. Not gonna lie, um, he's kind of like you know if, if your opponent if you're at grade three you can soul blast it out, you know if you've got enough in the soul obviously, and it it gives it it also fills the drop zone a bit if you want to just throw back dead cards, and yeah, the draw card adds pressure for your Kaiser turn, you know it's good. Good, good. Um, would run four, but then it screws up the other ratios in this grade one lineup. I have three dimensional robo die tiger, a uh, 10k attacker for dimensional robo. I then run two commander laurel. I would run three, but I don't have three, and he's a $20 card now. But I think two is a good balance because if I draw into him, fair enough, I have him. And if I don't, I don't. It's not. It's it is a win condition, but it's not a necessary win condition. And then I run a one of tech of 
Dimensional Robo Go Cannon, which is kind of like a placeholder if I ever get a third Laurel. Or it's just a good tech because pre limit break you can throw this and something else in the soul and you choose your Daisha Vanguard and give it a crit. So it fulfills the condition of your mate having a crit for your Legion with Die Kaiser. <laughs> and yeah, pre limit break. If I draw into it in my first hand, I'm probably going to keep it. I mean, if people see it out in the field, they're going to retire it immediately if they can. But if not, it's a perfect, perfect, perfect way to get the skills off really early and potentially kill your opponent. Um, yeah, so we've got so that's obviously gonna you're gonna have like two more in the soul, so that that fills the soul. It's 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 like I don't have die barred, but I have that. So yeah. Then trigger lineup. Uh, I've seen a lot of weird trigger lineups uh, recently for this deck. And I'll be honest, I just find the standard 8 crit with 4 dimensional row, 4 justice cobalt. Um, thinking about running stands, but stands, I mean, the stands are good, but it doesn't really benefit the deck anyway. Kind of need draws to, to keep maintain hand size, because there's no real advantage engine with uh, dimensional rows. And then, 4 heal. Uh, that's kind of standard enough. Right, so uh, if I've I've got a bit of time here, so I'm gonna just cut the video and I'll show you a little f way of a good field setup. All right, uh, we're back and I've got a little mock field setup here. We've got Blade Dragon, we've got Commander Laurel, we've got Thy Magnum, Thy Tiger as a booster, and Thy Fighter. So. Obviously, with Commander Laurel, because he's 4k, you can stick him by the 12k attacker and it's still 16k. Uh, you're on, you're, let's say this is the start of your turn. Obviously, you know, you, you wouldn't have this guy out on the field pre, pre break ride. Let's face it, it'll get retired. Um, right, what you want to do is you break ride, okay? Obviously, you want to kind of blast the heal trigger. Because you're good at this game, you don't fuck about like that. So you, you do that, you break red, and it gets 10. He gets 10k in a crit. Surprise, surprise. And because I mean, like you don't even need to have him in the soul, but if you want, you can put him into the soul, give him 4k, so he's an extra bit unguardable. But uh, you know what? We'll do it. We'll put this into this guy into the soul. Okay. So like so he's sitting pretty twenty one plus five is twenty five and then so twenty five then you want to go legion and let's say you're a miracle worker throw back that right throw back all them cards shuffle them away blah 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 get your mate out do that okay so You've got a pretty good soul going. You broke, broke red and all that kind of stuff. And then, um, okay, so he sits so here. You're, you're now you've now got 25, and he's leaving 22k. He's gonna that's gonna be a 32k plus plus four is 36. So that plus four, although doesn't do much, and without legion, it actually pushes a stage of guard. So that's 36 on your attack. Okay. Then you want to call him because you're good at this game, and then you want to call that. Or you don't even need a booster, but just bring a booster anyway. Um, so what you want to do? The reason why I don't run stands is because if you rest everything, because you're attacking him first. If you get a stand, it doesn't really make a difference. So yeah, what you want to do is you want to attack. Obviously, uh, you can do it whatever way you like. I do it this this way. So you attack like that, so you're attacking for, so 22 plus 10 is 32, plus 4 is 36, plus the boost is 33, or 43, sorry. And because his, or actually, even before you do that, oh look, if, if your opponent's guarded really early and just wants to take the attack, so we'll blast that out, so it's just an extra bit of pressure. 
and yeah, you've got 43k with a crit, and let's let's say the perfect guard at twice, uh, and you you drive tech a grade three because you're good at this game. You can counter blast one. And the perfect guard of twice, you can nullify both those effects. And then your second check is a critical trigger because you are really good good at this crit, and you've pretty much killed your opponent because there's no way that they've they've let it let it slide that easily, um, or guarded that well. To be honest, if they do let it hit, I draw a card. It doesn't make a difference. I still gain damage or whatever, and that's it. Then if it hits, okay, you can rest, 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 stand back up. His guard break ability is still active. And then swing again, it's 36. <laughs> if your opponent's not dead, they're dead. It's simple as. So yeah, um, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Uh, please leave a like if you have liked the video. If not, tell us why. I would like some feedback on this actually because I really enjoy the deck. And what way do you run yours? Do you run it differently? Do you have gold cannons? Do you not? And uh, what do you think you'll run whenever we've got Cosmic Roar? So yeah, uh, hope you've enjoyed guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye.